Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So if you clicked on this video, I'm not gonna waste your time, I'll get right to it. There's paint here on my bricks and I can't get it off, right? So I have, I have the solution finally. Let me show you what it is. So there's all types of paint on here from over the years, people painting it different colors. We've got yellow and pink and all sorts of stuff, gray. Well, um, basically there's a product that you brush on here. I'm actually brushing the entire surface because there's so many small little spots. I just want it all to be nice and even. I'm painting an even coat of this stuff on here and then we're gonna pressure wash it and it's all gonna come off. All right, here's the stuff right here. It's called Premium Stripper. I got it at Home Depot. I got an old paintbrush and um, a paint thing here. I had to clean out the green paint because it was starting to paint green on here. You can see there's a tinge of green. But uh, basically I just went ahead and painted a nice even coat of this stuff. Um, not really a thin coat, but not a very thick coat either. Uh, and then we're just gonna basically go all the way around the house. And by the time we're done, we should be able to take the pressure washer, come here and blast all this stuff clean. It may need a second coat, but I mean, I've tried wire wheels, wire brushes, pressure washer itself. And I've got a 2700 PSI pressure washer. It still wouldn't take the stuff off. Uh, not by itself anyway. But yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, finish up the house and see how it goes. So one thing I should mention, um, I'm not, I don't have any tape or anything, but I think if I'm hitting the vinyl siding with this stuff, I don't think it's going to be good for it. So um, I'm just trying to be very careful and not hit it. But um, yeah, I would probably tape it off if I were you. I'll probably regret not taping it off, but we'll see what happens. This side of the house is worse. It even has, like somebody took a paintbrush and just brushed it on the side of the bricks. Like, why would you do that? There's some big spots here. I put it on a little bit thicker there and we'll just continue on as you can see right along just Total disregard whoever painted the house before. They didn't care. So let's fix that up. Man, look at that right, right there. Like, why would you do that? All right, this pressure washer, I purchased it from the Home Depot tool rental place. I got it for, I think it was 340 bucks or something like that. The only thing is it was used obviously and there's no returns on it. So, uh, yeah, it works pretty good. I did have one problem with it, um, but we, I already got that taken care of now. Um, and by the way, you can rent this exact, these exact ones at Home Depot. It even still has the sticker on it. Uh, you go over to Home Depot and rent one of these. You can buy your stuff over there. Too bad they're not a sponsor, but uh, let's go ahead and fire this up and clean off the bricks. Okay, so I just ran out of gas and I got almost to the end of this side of the building. Now this is after one application of that stuff. And there's a few spots. This is, this is where like the paint was really thick or I didn't lay, lay it on hard enough. So of course I'm gonna need one more application. But a lot of this stuff here, if I would've just kept the pressure washer on it for another second, that would've blown it right out. So that is so much better than what it was. See right here is where I ran out of gas. So you could see the difference. It's just night and day, right? I mean, I probably don't even need to come back over and clean this up with a second application, but I think I will just because there's a couple big ones here. I'll get another can of it and uh, I'll just lay it on there for maybe a half hour instead of 15 minutes and come back and blast it off of there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. If you guys know a better way, let us know in the comments. I'll pin it to the top if it's uh, a really good suggestion. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.